My name is Larry Cushenberry. Okay. And when were you born and where? I was born in, in November the 21st, 1945, here in Topeka, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just 10 years before the Brown decision was handed, 10, 9 years ago. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that means you would have been in the 4th or 3rd thir or 4th grade when it happened? I would have been in the, uh, probably the 7th, somewhere in there between the 4th and the 7th grade. Okay. And and uh, when it when it started taking place, and you know I didn't keep up with it, you know, because mm -hmm. of the age I was. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, so, can you tell me um, what your life's work has been, or what your current career is? My life work was I had several jobs, but my life work was with the railroad. Mm -hmm. uh, it started out with Santa Fe, then they merged with Burlington Northern, and I was there for thirty years until. Um, you know, it was a buyout. Right. You know, they offered uh, 30, 60. If you had 30 year, years in and 60 years old, you can get an early retirement. Mm. So I got out. And so it's like, you it, right? <laughs> I sure You're did. Not. I went to Washington Elementary School at 1020 Washington. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, I went to uh, another elementary school which was what they considered a country, which was Belvoir Elementary School. Oh, I've, I think I've only heard of Belvoir once from one other person. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Belvoir School at that time, it was a mixture of school. It was white and blacks that went to that school. And, it was a, and we had white teachers. I don't think, I cannot remember a black teacher at Belvoir but all the black teachers that 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 I know of was at Washington, okay. and uh, Belvoir School was an integrated school, which they it was sort of like what they considered in the country. Mm -hmm. And where was it located? At? It was at uh, on Bellevue in the uh, thir about the thirteen hundred block on Bellevue. It's still there. Oh, it is. The okay. school is still there. Someone bought it, and it's a church now. Okay. We lived on. A, on the corner of 12th, 11th, and Chandler. And 11th and Chandler was, uh, if you would go uh, west from, from 11th and Chandler, you go into Washington Avenue, and that's where Wash Washington Elementary School was, which is about, it was about maybe three or four blocks. Where I started elementary school was at Washington and I started the kindergarten and went to the, uh, I think it was the second or third grade. Mm -hmm. Then when I left there, I went out to Belvoir. Okay. Uh, Bellevue, uh, Belvoir Elementary School. And, um, but when I said pocket, a pocket of people, mm -hmm. where we lived at, I don't know if you heard of the term Mudtown. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mudtown was where we lived at and Right across the street from us, on 10th Street, was another school. It was Parkdale. Parkdale was all white. Okay. Now, we were just across the street. We couldn't go to that school. So we went to Washington. Uh, and Washington was, to me, it was a wonderful elementary school. And uh, my teacher, uh, I just loved her, uh, Miss Keene. She was my second grade teacher, Miss Keene. And so there was a relationship with the, all the neighbors because everybody knew each other. Right. And so it was really a fun time. How did you end up at Belvoir then? Was that part of the desegregation effort? No, or? we moved. Okay, you moved. We moved, our grandmother lived out uh, out in that area, which they considered the country. Mm -hmm. And so we moved out with our grandmother. We stayed out there. So I had to go to Belvoir uh, Elementary School. I think I'm the only one that went there. The rest of my brothers and sisters, they went to Hudson Elementary, and I think one went to Grant elementary school, but uh, that's how I got there. I just had to move. I left there and went to East Topeka 
uh, junior high school, which was right back over in Mudtown. Right. And it was about where I used to live at. My grandfather, he lived across the street from us on 11th Street. So I just walked to school from his house, go there for lunch, walk back to school. Mm -hmm. And uh, East Topeka Junior High School. Right. That's where I had. I'm going to switch back to Belvoir for one second and okay. then go back to East Topeka okay. um, Junior High. In terms of Belvoir, so you came from a segregated Washington school. Right. And then you were put into a, a mixed school. Right. Did you, did you ever wonder why or what the difference, how was that transition for you? It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't a hard uh, uh, transition because the people were so friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, all those kids, all of us, uh, they were like farm kids, but uh, we were such a knitted uh, group of people. And I think it was just, just uh, blacks, whites, and some Spanish right. going to that school. And so we all got along. We played the sports together. We, we played outside together. We, it wasn't anything that, that I felt that caused any type of friction uh, uh, with each other. Mm -hmm. It was just a good life. Tell me what a day was like at, at the junior high. The day at, at East Topeka Junior High School uh, we went to our classes and I think they had me running the, I had a job there where that I run the projector and show films in different classrooms. That was, that, that's one thing I did. And then we had, uh, I was in a, uh, a metal shop, a woodwork metal shop, and I played basketball there. And uh, it was another fun school. It, it wasn't a big school, but the people there were close. Right. And uh, we, that's when we had, our, the black teachers was there. Uh, I had a black uh, history teacher, and he also was a basketball coach. And so my days there was, you know, going from class to class. It wasn't that many classes, but we went from class to class, and it was just a little different than it was sitting in one room at, at Belvoir School, mm -hmm. and it was fun. Mm -hmm. 